only is it your boy Snow, but it's your boy the Godfather's theme song. It's like the game knows. Uh, well, in case you missed motherfucking SummerSlam, you need to stop watching now and go back and watch it. SummerSlam was lit as shit, son. All right, we got some Godfather in. <coughs> As it says, we have a huge night in store for you. ECW failed against WCW at SummerSlam. Killian Dane and Rhino both losing their respected matches, causing WCW and not only WCW, but two members of the NWO to obtain victories over ECW alumni. Now, as punishment, their two main champions who defended their belts last or this past Sunday, Shinsuke Nakamura, who beat Cactus Jack. Yes, that happened. Still the longest reigning champion of all three brands. And then still undefeated in the most dominant display over Lars Sullivan to date, the Jester will defend his title as well tonight. And um, this match is the only match tonight that has nothing to do with SummerSlam. This match actually has to deal with Bash at the Beach. At Bash at the Beach, it'll be the WCW World Heavyweight Champion, whoever that is by then, versus whoever the ECW World Heavyweight Champion is at that time. Same thing for the WCW Intercontinental Champion versus the ECW Television Champion. And then the WCW World Tag Team Champions will face the ECW World Tag Team Champion. Then we will have four individual one on one matches. Seven matches in total. One brand can reign supreme. that PUBG's got test servers live in 30 minutes I guess this episode's over I'll be on that all right well as always go to fake grip stop store use code PUBG's just get 15% off and let's start some motherfucking ECW because you just I just you have to see what's about to happen you just have to see it Tonight, tonight is going to be insane. Motherfucking ECW, baby. Ooh. Got a little bit of pyro. They're lucky they even got pyro tonight. Losing to WCW of all brand of all brands they lost to WCW so 
Punishment will ensue tonight in the opening match. Baron Corbin, the Godfather. One on one. Winner goes on to Bash of the Beach in the first qualifying match thing. CW, we are just now getting things underway. Bash at the Beach qualifying match, Baron Corbin, the Godfather. As always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow to watch it live. Somebody tonight is going to die. Who will it be? Just disappointed in ACW guys, man. They, they failed at SummerSlam against WCW and Despite two of the champions retaining their belts, they will be defending the motherfuckers. They'll be in here tonight. One of them a fatal four-way table elimination. I'll let you know that. Godfather and his trusty hoes. Hey to you too, Stupid Bimbo. The boy Snow really appreciates the retweet. PUBG test servers are back tonight. About to be on that as soon as this episode is done. Because Pub Jesus has got to get his. His feet wet again. A little wild and, and slack and lacking. I'm oh. oh, blessing my children. Got a few combination clips together in, in the works. It's time once again for everybody to get on the whole train. I know that I ain't the only one. Is there really pimps up in this house? Do I love the Godfather? sure this is a rematch if I'm not mistaken they've gone one on one before Corbin came out on top and 
Looks like the Godfather did not forget coming out the gate with right hands and an unusual tactic, a kick. Godfather not one for kicking. My knowledge. Corbin rolling out of the way, whatever Godfather had planned there. Beautiful clothesline. Godfather has not been very, very doing very hot in the hot streak department. Don't even believe he even has. I believe he doesn't even have a victory on ECW. But definitely a victory over Baron Corbin. Not only puts him in Bash at the Beach versus WCW. But uh, Baron Corbin is former number one contender for the ECW World Title. Twice. So, that's a big win in my book. And after the kendo stick shots, looks like Godfather was going to have some sort of advantage, but Baron Corbin, Golden Gloves champion in the past with that beautiful right hand, definitely stunning the Godfather. Even with that modified STO, choke slam STO. Oh, here we go, camel clutch. Yeah, we got a camel clutch applied. Nope, Godfather's slipping out the back door. Trying to figure out if he was actually submitted. I don't see the referee down checking on Godfather. Definitely meant the submission was locked. Godfather escaped out the back door, and what a shoulder breaker. The strength of the Godfather. A little pick. A near seven foot Baron Corbin up. And then slam the shoulder right into the knee. Our brother is like bouncing the head on Baron Corbin off the mat a bunch. Looking for high risk. Gets a high double axe handle by Baron Corbin. There's a pinfall. One. Ooh, only a one count. Interesting. Ooh, Corbin now with the kendo stick. But Godfather able to roll out of the way. Gets the kendo stick out of Corbin's hand momentarily. Nice power slam by the Godfather. Pin. You know, one count himself. tonight just trying to give this man a concussion oh blocked by Baron Corbin right there oh he didn't block that now Godfather returning the, the shoulder lock favor pin still only on one count definitely too early my own with the host, appreciate it. Nice kick to the spine. Godfather is looking extraordinary tonight. We've definitely seen the different side of him. Ooh, Baron, Cor Baron Corbin looks like he's been busted open. And I don't, I'm not really surprised. Godfather has been just absolutely ruthless. In the night, we're just seeing a completely different side of the Godfather. Godfather going back in the well there, and it failed again. This time, a flying clothesline. Godfather going back into the well. There's the deep six. Middle of the ring, hooks the leg. One, two, no, Godfather able to stay in it. Wow. 
Going to the well one too many times, trying to go for that top rope, whatever it was. Corbin both times counters with the back elbow. Oh, I don't know what Corbin was looking for there, but Godfather slips out the back door. Oh, rake in the eyes by Baron Corbin. Beautiful backdrop. That could be it right there. No, Godfather at one. What is going on? I just channeled my inner Shatner there by accident. Ooh. Veteran instinct by Godfather rolling out the bottom rope to the outside. Avoiding the pinfall. That could have been it right there. Corbin now trying to introduce a table. And we're going to see a fatal four-way table elimination championship match later tonight. Corbin saying, let's get the tables out now. Just destroying Godfather. Another pin. Again, Godfather able to get the shoulder up. What does Corbin have to do to put the Godfather away? Oh, counter. Knee to the midsection. Wait, blocked by Corbin. Looking for a powerbomb. Powerbomb by Corbin. Takes a minute, goes for the pin. Two. No, Godfather still alive. We are definitely seeing a different side of the Godfather here tonight. He is taking Baron Corbin to the limit. Corbin now getting frustrated. Several pin attempts already. Oh, God in it. deep six nothing godfather can do that's gotta be it one two no godfather still how just like Corbin I can't believe it how is he still in this match the heart of the godfather Pippin definitely ain't easy oh here in the days it's over good night thanks for coming Count to a hundred, uno, and dos, and there's Trace. Baron Corbin taken to the absolute limit. Oh, here we go. Corbin offering a handshake. Godfather slapping it out of the way. Well, Godfather, a little sore loser. Obviously upset. They qualify for bashes. Right. But I mean, I would at least respectfully shake the man's hand. He just gave you a phenomenal match. I mean, that was an amazing way to kick off ECW tonight. If they're, they're definitely trying to redeem SummerSlam. And uh, they're doing a good job. But Alistair Black, the second special match of tonight. The only, you know, there's only two. The first one and this one. The rest, punishment. Go Sid, one of the last originals from ECW for Alistair Black yet to face. Black has already beaten Rhino, Raven, RVD, Bam Bam Bigelow. And now we will face Psycho Sid. Short albino with the host, appreciate it.
where Psycho Sid's definitely a uh, no slouch. But neither were any of the other ECW originals. And Aleister Black put work. He put in what every single one of them and has come out victorious. He's still undefeated in singles competition. And I say singles competition only because, you know, he did kind of get pinned by Rhino in the Fatal 4-Way to see uh, who faced was it the big show at SummerSlam? Which Ryan did a full win, obviously. Faced the big show and lost. So Rhino and Killian Dane are in action later tonight. Not really in a match they want to be in. I'll tell you that. Mr. Black and the Jester train together. I would only have to say they're most likely true based on since Jester's won the championship. He's very much like Alistair Black when he comes out. Which could explain Maybe Jester's weakness. Could it be multi man matches? Stage kind of crawl back a little bit in a couple multi mans. But one on one, just like Alistair Black, both men absolutely deadly. The way Alistair Black handled Bam Bam Bigelow was much like the Jester handled Bam Bam Bigelow when he fought him. Be evil. Psycho Sid, Alistair Black. Here we go. Here we go. Psycho Sid with it. Running STO out the gate. He's not playing around. Wait, Black though. Dragon Screw. Already with a game plan. Going for the the legs. Sid. You already know Psycho Sid breaking that left leg. Jumping off the top rope in WCW. Most people are stupid. What a kick. God damn, I was surprised he was even able to reach his head. What a splash. Definitely got some sort of game plan. Dragon Screw in his first bit of offense. Now working the arm of Psycho Sid. Trying to take away this power game. Oh, what a big boot, though, by Sid. It looks like Sid's going to use an equalizer. Breaking the. Again, the tables are broken out. Two matches in a row. Sid looking for a power bomb? Nope. Oh, More like an outsider's edge, the razor's edge, whatever you want to call it. Black slides out of the ring, slides back in, quick as a cat, especially with them strikes. Oh, blocked by Sid. Ooh. Nice slam. 
Nice clubbing blow to the back of the neck of Alistair Black. And he kicks to the midsection. Beautiful clothesline there, decapitating Alistair Black. And so far, this is this is basically the worst we've seen Alistair Black in one-on-one -on -one competition. Sit out here not trying to play. There's a running leg drop. After that uh, Cobra Clutch Bomb. The black quick, like again, quick as a cat. Just sweeps the leg. And back in control. Looks like he survives a little bit of punishment. And then comes back. Oh, Sid, though. Wisely pulling the top rope down. And Aleister Black dumps himself to the outside. There's a reverse suplex to the floor. Ooh. Black face first into the floor on the outside. Ooh, Sid trying to do it again, face first again, Alistair Black off the floor on the outside. Ooh, right off the ring post goes Alistair Black's face. He's just Sid tonight, much like the Godfather out here to prove a message. Prove a point, send a message, you know. I combine them both. I don't know if Big Sig probably could have pinned Alistair Black right there, but instead I've been for more damage. There's a choke bomb. But again, Black, there's a jawbreaker. Oh, misses the RKO. But the reverse DDT. Black rolling under the bottom rope on the outside. Could be looking for an equalizer himself. Yeah. Kendo stick. Oops, Sid just now getting to his feet. No, gets the kendo stick right to the back. And now Alistair Black. Only a one count though. We have to do a lot more than that. Second Sid showing he is still fresh. Kicking out only at the count of one. Ooh. No, Sid, don't do it. Okay, just a double axe handle. Pinned by Sid on black one. Ooh, only a one count for Sid. All right. Elbow drop to the back of the head of Alistair Black. Sid is looking to punish Black. Oh, here we go. Choke slam. He's got him up. Choke slam. Sid still not going to put away Black. Spine. Again, not putting away black. Could this be a mistake by Sid? Oh, here we go. Camel clutch. Camel clutch locked in. Sid's got it locked in. Nope. Black slips out the back door. Yeah, that's definitely a mistake. Sid not going for the pin after that choke slam. Or even the spy master. Oh, Alistair Black trying the shit out of Sid. Sitting right in front of his face. Sid's so exhausted at this point. Off the knee drop. Sid, though, still strong enough to kick out before a two count even even happens. 
back again. Taunting. Sid. You see a coup de grace. Sid is in the drop zone. Coup de grace by Alistair Black to Sid. Choke slam. There's a pin off the DDT. Two. First two count of the match. And you see Alistair Black starting to look exhausted himself. Don't know if he expected to take as much punishment as he took. Oh, what? What? I was gonna go for a pin. Goes for an armbar. Whoa! Armbar, knee bar. Locked in by Alistair Black. But Sid, too long and strong. Oh, wait, crossface by it. What? Sid with a crossface. Crossface on Alistair Black by Psycho Sid. Will Alistair Black tap out? Referee right there. No, Sid, let's go. Look at the pin. One, two. No! Alistair Black just gets the shoulder up before the count of three. What is Alistair Black made of? What does Psycho Sid have to do to put Alistair Black away? Ooh, what a kick taking the big Sid down. Oh, the Black Mass! Black Mass! Connects to Psycho Sid. Black hooks the leg, middle of the ring. One, two, three. Wow. <laughs> Look at this choke slam. Beautiful choke slam by Sid. But then a coup de grace shortly after by Alistair Black. There's a DDT that led to the black mass wheel kick. This is the first two count of the match. Crippler crossface on Alistair Black. I can't believe. Sid thought Black passed out, but the referee couldn't didn't see it. So he was like, fuck it, I'm gonna pin him. And look right here. Ooh, so close. And then here it is, the black mass spinning heel kick. And Alistair Black reigns supreme yet again. Still undefeated in singles competition. Undefeated against the ECW Originals. match punishment time since Killian Dane and Rhino decided they were gonna lose their matches to Sting and the Big Show of the NWO of all fucking people they're gonna face the brand new ECW World Tag Team Champions Akum and Razor, the authors of Pain. Who, by the way, if you didn't watch SummerSlam, whooped the absolute shit out of the Usos. Who hellaciously close and deliciously good matches with the entire ECW tag team division. Akim and Razor destroyed the tag team division. Rhino is a solo act because of Authors of Pain. Let's go! My name is Mud. Not to be confused with 
with Jill or Jack or Jack. My name is. I'm gonna always sing that song in my head. Of course, Eric Young, Alexander Wolf. Not too far behind there, buddy Killian Day. Lucky for Sting, uh, everybody from both sides was bar barred from ringside at SummerSlam. We got a 1v1 match with Killian Day. The Man Beast Rhino! Or should I say, the failure Rhino? Losing his match to the WCW Intercontinental Champion, The Big Show. Paul Heyman and Bobby Heenan accompanying their respected superstars to the ring. And, uh, of course, both managers got involved. Uh, I can't really blame Rhino, but at the same time, you can't let Bobby Heenan distract you. And that proved to be the X Factor in why Big Show was able to topple the Man Beast. Hashtag and new ECW World Tag Team Champions. Akum and Razor. With the absolute most dominant display over the Usos. Never have I seen the Usos get absolutely fucking shrecked like I did at SummerSlam. I'm gonna start for AOP. Bell, and here we go. The strength of Akum out the gate. Giving Killian Dane a good little shove back to his corner. Sanity is kind of familiar with Alpha Pain, as is Rhino. Rhino losing his uh, tag team partner, Keith Slater, because. Oh, there's a pain burst onto the ECW tag team scene.
Ooh, looking for a belly to belly, but Killian Dane wisely able to counter. Oh, what a big boot taking the big Akum down. If anything, this is definitely what I expected this match to be. Fucking heavy hitting. But at the same time, I'm definitely hoping that Akum and Razor give Killian Dane a little bit of punishment for losing their respective match. So far, Akum has yet to tag in Razor. Rhino already been tagged in, as you see. Akum is punishing Rhino. What I like to see right there. See Eric Young and Alexander Wolf on the outside. Rune on Rhino in there. Very clean in there. Ooh. Akum wisely rolling to the outside, but Rhino immediately taking Razor off the apron. It looks like Rhino going after Razor instead of Akum. Trying to get into the heads of authors of pain. <laughs> now, Akron able to get back in the control of Rhino. Eric Young though, getting a little close. Rhino off the post. Appreciate the uh, assist there, Akron. Eric Young better be careful. We're getting involved with the offensive pain. He's all over there yelling at him. Oh, there's a side rushing leg sweep to Rhino. That's gotta be it. One, two, no Rhino able to kick out. He can just put plenty of people away with just that Russian leg sweep. Now normally, when he does that, Razor hits a clothesline from hell, and that's pretty much all over. That's going to be the last chapter. Here we go. First time Razor has been added into the match. And we're going to see that very move. There's the last chapter to Rhino. Pinned by Razor. Immediately, Alexander Wolf getting in the referee's face, causing Razor to have to get off the pin. Referee wasn't even going to see that shit for a minute. Oh, there's the belly to belly to Razor by Rhino. How is Rhino even on his feet right now? Azar wisely rolling out of the ring to avoid any pinfall. Killian Dan getting the tag into the match. And Killian Dan looking for the same maneuver that Rhino did, but. Acom seen it coming and with a beautiful knee. And Killian Dane rolling all the way to the other side of the ring. To the outside. Oh, Razor going after Eric Young. And this that's what I told you, man. Razor was yelling at him earlier. Now throwing Eric Young into the match. Eric Young's not even a part of this match. Tagging in his brother Acom. And Akum now going after Eric Young. Tossing Eric Young into Killian Dane as Dane rolled into the ring, but it wasn't enough to stop them the Beast of Belfast. Again, Razor or Akum 
I mean, able to roll out of the ring to avoid the pinfall. Killian Dane looking to go after Razor. Razor with a beautiful elbow. This time, Killian Dane able to knock Razor off. This match is basically blown out of proportion. The office of pain going after Eric Young. Killian Dane now taking it to Razor. But Akram trying to get involved. Killian Dane stopping it. Alexander Wolf in the background there. There's a Uranagi to the barricade by Killian Dane to Akram. You know what I'm saying? Wolf in the corner th putting a chair in the ring. And the two on one advantage on Killian Dane proves to be too much. Oh, Eric Young. Trying to get Razor back in the ring. Razor, not even the legal man. Akum is. Razor has a bat on the outside. Unable to bring it in the match. Ooh, what a great hand by Killian Dan, who grabs that chair that Alexander Wolf put into the match. But again, the authors of pain. With the wise veteran move to roll out of the ring almost every single time a pinfall could happen. Akam able to fight Killian Dane off with the chair. Ooh. And then slamming Dane down face first on the steel chair on the outside. There's a pain of basically been looking dominant as always. It don't matter who the tag team is. Even if it's two other tag teams put together in one tag team. Here we go, Akon might be picking up that bat. Dane Crawley, he's letting Killian Dane, he's grabbing the bat, letting Killian Dane tag in Rhino. Just so he can run Rhino over with the bat, and now he's beating Rhino with that baseball bat damn what tactics from authors of pain here tonight oh wait rhino somehow trying to fight back he's got Akum down in the corner momentarily looking for the gore gore to Akum Pin on Akum after the gore. Again, Akum wisely rolling out of the ring. No, he didn't make it. Rhino stopped him. No, oh, but Akum still in this. Tags in Razor. Rhino now trying to take the authors of pain tactic of rolling out of the ring. But Razor said, fuck that. I'm going to bring Killing Dane in the ring. I'm fighting somebody, damn it. Killian Dane said, no, I'm leaving. Oh, what a left hand by Killian Dane. Stunning Razor momentarily. But Razor with a right hand. Taking Dane off the apron. Rhino's slow to get to his feet. Wolf and Young backing away. No one, no part of Razor. Despite the numbers game, there's Rhino. Oh, and Razor right off the steel steps. That might be just what he needs to get back in this. Oh, and a nice little TKO on the outside. Knee to the midsection of Razor. Again, Razor into the steel steps. Oh! I don't know. It sounded like Razor hit the steps, but it, 
didn't look like it. Could have just been the impact near the steps. That time he hit the steps. Killian Dane and Rhino both double teaming Razor. And there's nothing Akram can do because Eric Young and Wolf providing blocking. But it doesn't fucking matter because Razor said, fuck you. Let's do this. Tags in Akum. Looking for another last chapter of the Rhino. Connects. Hooks the leg, does Akum. Eric Young this time. Getting in the referee's face, causing Akum to break the pin up. What a headbutt by Akum. There's a Russian leg sweep. Razor is not leaving the ring. ECW rules, no disqualification. Technically, he didn't have to. Ooh, back elbow by Rhino. Looking for the pile driver, but Razor waiting for Rhino to get an advantage just to jump in there. Saving his brother, Akum. Razor down on the outside. Wolf now trying to get involved. Right hand by Rhino to Razor. He comes slowly getting to his feet. There's a beautiful electric chair drop to Razor. And ECW Tag Team Champions finally starting to see some wear and tear. But it's mainly the numbers game of Sanity at the outside. They've saved Rhino twice now. After two last chapters. And now the double team by Akum and Razor. And there's nothing Wolf can do. He just has to stand there and watch. If he gets over there, he's going to get fucked up. Razor now talking shit to Alexander Wolf on the outside over there. Wolf talking shit back. Final toss into the ring. We're going to tag Killian Dane, and he does. But immediately gets run the fuck over by Akum. Run up and get done up. Damn. And it's just... Authors of Pain, man, they're just... They're a force to be fucking reckoned with here on ECW. I've yet to see a team that could possibly beat them. Oh, here we go, looking for the power bomb. Power bomb to Killian Dane. Wolf getting up on the ropes. Again, out. Wolf and Young proving X factors in this match. Killian Dane trying to fight back against AOP. Akum didn't make it to the outside. Rhino's still in the ring though. Rhino's actually getting there. He's a modified Death Valley driver. Well, owed to Alexander Wolf by Killian Dane. Tagging in Rhino now. Headbutt by the Man Beast. Gore! Another gore! This time to Akum. Oh wait, no, he only hit Akum. He's already hit Akum once. This time he pins. 
One, two, no, Razor breaks up the three count. But now Rhino going after Razor. Power bomb to Razor. Rhino setting up for another gore. No, he gets DDT. Akum. DDT Rhino. There's the Russian leg sweep. For a second, was about to be able to pick up a victory, but he didn't go for the pin. Rhino was just about to get Akram over into Sanity's corner. Now Akram trying to drag Rhino over into the author of pain. Oh, snap there instead. He still got him in his corner. And Rhino rolling to the outside. And why they're letting him rest? And then go out there and throw him back in the ring. And check out. Let's get this match over with. We got title matches to go through. Tag. Ooh, just on vicious knees and a double gut buster to Rhino. Fuck a last chapter, dude. That that had to have been worse. Oh, Rhino able to get up with a shoulder block. What is Rhino made out? Oh, he's Mandy's. Never mind. Answer my own question. Pile driver by Rhino. Razor is down. Thinking about getting involved. This Razor said no. We run it back into the ring. The ECW Tag Team Champions is essentially having their way with Rhino and Kitty and Mayhem. Right? Despite the fact that Kitty and Rhino have been putting up somewhat of a fight, but it's just been basically all right. Like the Reverse by Rhino. He's got Razor in his corner. Tags in Dane. A little bit of double team action. Oh, here we go. Ulster Plantation. Looks right at Aiko. Connects middle of the ring. One, two, no! Akum able to break up the pin again. Dane measuring Razor again. Looking for a second plantation drop. And he gets it. Back into the pin again. One. Two, no, Rhino unable to stop Akum the third time. This time Rhino dumps Akum to the outside. Oh, what a knee to Razor. One could say 
a razor sharp Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. five star shit right there. And Razor dumping Rhino into the ring. I feel like the authors of pain need to hurt to just finish this game. Leave Rhino alone. You clean man's big ass back in there. Okay. I guess that works too. Very young and wolf just looking on. Yeah, he's like chasing after Rhino. Oh wait, he sees Dane back in the ring. He's gonna chase Dane. This is the perfect opportunity for the Authors of Pain. Now they're gonna hit Killian Dane with those vicious knees. And here comes a double gut buster. Pin him. Just pin him. It's over. You know it's over. Russian leg sweet, fuck it. Pin him. Pin him. Come on. What are y'all doing? You gonna hit him with the last chapter? How did you wait for Rhino to get on the apron for the last chapter? Alright, here comes the last chapter to Killian Dane. Pinned by Razor. One, two, no, Rhino! Able to get there in time. Razor thinks he won it or something. I don't know. Oh, wow. There's a spinning sit-out powerbomb to Rhino by Akum. There's a powerbomb to Rhino by Razor. Eric Young getting involved with Akum. Killian Dane double Razor to the outside. Now Eric Young throwing Razor back Dane. There's a running elbow drop by Killian Dane. There's another elbow drop. Oh wait, Razor tying up Killian Dane. Trying to let Akum get up. Oh wait. Nope, got him backwards. Akum had Killian Dane. Trying to get Razor to get up. But it didn't work. Ooh, what a beautiful backdrop. Oh, he holds on. Another backdrop. Into a German suplex. What a rake of the eyes by Razor. A huge clothesline. Knocking Rhino off the apron. Jesus Christ. We might have to skip this match. Find out who won later. Because this is getting intense. This dude. Two teams are giving it their absolute everything. This is the, the furthest we've seen the Authors of Pain taken. But you have to blame Alexander Lewis and Eric Young on the outside. With a running crossbody by Killian Dane and Razor. Hooks the leg. Rhino in the ring first. One, two, no. He's still not able to stop Akum. This time again, dumping him to the outside. Can they finish Razor? And what are you doing? There you go. There you go. There you go. Killian Dane finally measuring. Razor's up, looking for another ulcer plantation, gets it, 
hooks the leg. One, two, no. Razor kicks out. How? What the fuck? All right, looking for another also plantation. Fuck it. If one doesn't work, maybe two. Straight into the pin. Looks the leg. One, two, three. Yes. Before Aiko can get in there. Killian Dane and Rhino upsetting the new ECW World Tag Team Champions. Lucky for AOP, the titles weren't on the line. Like it is for the next two matches. What a fucking match. Killian Day and the Rhino definitely got their punishment. I've Doing that, but they definitely earned this victory. Oh, Rhino was busted open at some point. I didn't even notice. Tonight was a pay per view. All right, the first of two title matches. <coughs> Tonight's co main event, despite Jester and Shinsuke defending their belts successfully at ECW, or World well, for ECW. At uh, some, they will uh, now defend their belts again as punishment because the previous guys lost their matches, Rhino and uh, Killian Day. So enjoy a fatal four-way table elimination, ECW television title match. subtle hint earlier when talking about the uh, Alistair Black during his match against Psycho Sid. I believe the weakness to the Jester is a multi-man match, so we will see here tonight. And uh, lucky for these combatants, nobody has to pin or submit them, they just have to put them Jack, who was unsuccessful in his attempts at Shinsuke Nakamura's ECW World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam. Shinsuke, of course, reigning supreme as he will be defending in tonight's main event after this title match. Lucky for Cactus Jack, he was awarded this match. Bigelow.
comes. There's destructive display over Lars Sullivan at SummerSlam for the ECW World Television Championship. The hashtag and still ECW World Television Champion. This man, the just Remember, you can download him in the community creations. Uh, I gotta like re upload this version. It just made him literally Sunday. Definitely the biggest challenge yet for the ECW World Television Champion. Here we go. The only way to win is to put your opponent through a table. Fatal four-way elimination style. And here we go. Cactus Jack and the Jester going right after it. These two have already faced one-on-one -on -one before. That's Bam Bam Bigelow and Jester. I do not believe we've seen Rusev go one-on-one. -on -one. What kind of shape does Cactus Jack have to be in? There's a snap. German suplex. Bam Bam Bigelow taking it to Rusev now on the outside. He's been tossed into that table, but not through it, so still in the match. Oh, Bam Bam blocking whatever Jester was looking for. Oh, Jester sees Rusev getting up and tries to go after him, ignoring Bam Bam, and it cost him getting tossed into the ring by Rusev. Reversed by Jester. There's a belly to belly. Cactus Jack thrown into the ring by Bam Bam Bigelow. Bigelow now bringing the first table into the match as Jester hits a Samoan drop to Rusev. Rusev dumped to the outside. Bam Bam dropped by Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack trying to beat Bam Bam Bigelow to that table. Bam Bam able to get the table from Cactus Jack. Now taking it to Cactus Jack with the table. Jester and Rusev fighting back and forth on the outside. There's a standing shooting star press by Jester. Just as Cassius Jack takes Bam Bam down, is now looking to go high risk. Sit up, powerbomb by the champion. High risk maneuver fails for Cactus Jack. Jester rolling into the ring. Leaning a table up against the corner there. Cactus Jack getting thrown into it. Bam Bam now thrown into it. Neither man put through the table yet. Oh, 
Oh, Rusev looking to get a sneaky shot on Jester. It immediately gets countered, but able to fight back with strikes. Jester now wisely rolling out of the ring, just like Bam Bam Bigelow. Best way to keep these titles to wait for the eliminations to go. Bam Bam now back into the ring. Cactus Jack set up the table in the corner there. He's got Rusev in it. Just a chop. The arena. The champ already now back to his feet. Getting fired up. Cactus Jack giving chase. I don't know if that's wise. Because now immediately Cactus Jack. Jack getting burning hammered by the champion on the outside. And now Jester waiting to see what happens. It looks like Bam Bam Rusev now going at it. Jack slowly trying to get to his feet. Jester pulling Bam Bam off the middle rope just before he can get in, uh, any offense off. Then there's a massive big boot to Cactus Jack. Despite the spear, the table didn't break. Jester looking to try it again. Oh, the champion almost threw the table. What a feel by Bam Bam Bigelow to Rusev all the way across the ring. And now Bam Bam into the corner. Rusev getting the table out of the ring, but not before Jester could throw him into the corner. And looks like he's gonna hit Killian Dane's Ultra Plantation on Rusev in the middle of the ring. Cactus Jack sliding the table back into the ring. Jester setting it up. Not in time for the Bam Bam to get thrown into it. Ooh, Right into the corner for Jester. Into a belly to belly to Rusev. Rusev with a fireman carry takeover. And Rusev knocked out the apron. There's the running knee to Bam Bam Bigelow in the corner. Jester from behind on Cactus Jack. Now it's just the champion and Bam Bam in the ring alone. No eliminations just yet. Bam Bam bounced right off that table. The champ trying to, trying to do something to put one of these men through the table and he's yet to be able to do it. What a suplex by Bam Bam to the champion. Rusev wisely rolling out of the ring. Bam Bam taking the table out of the ring, though. I don't know what he's thinking. He's got the champ down momentarily. But Cactus Jack immediately ruining any plans Bam Bam had. There's Jester immediately... As soon as he comes to, sees Cactus Jack up. A 
Here we go. Now the table's being set up different. Rusev back in. Nope. Dumps gesture to the outside. Cactus Jack and Rusev both giving chase to the champion. But Rusev immediately with a suplex. Oh, there's the backstabber to Rusev. Now, Jester. Trying to put somebody through the table. Is it gonna be Rusev? Rusev bounced off the table. Well, now Jester put up against the table. Oh, here we go. Dark Matter to Rusev, middle of the ring. And now Jester looking for the double underhook lung blower. Both Bam Bam and Cactus Jack are down on the outside. Still no eliminations yet. Rusev fighting back against the champion. Cactus Jack and Bam Bam still going at it on the outside. Jester now fighting back against Rusev. Still nobody put through a table. Bam Bam dumped to the outside. Rusev trying to fight back. There's a spinning wheel kick. Jester wisely rolling out the bottom rope. Bam Bam and Cactus Jack fighting near a table. One of them could easily go through it at any moment. And Cactus Jack is eliminated. Cactus Jack, the first elimination. A swinging neck breaker by Bam Bam Bigelow. Puts Cactus Jack through the table. And it is now a triple threat match. The champ is still in the match. Rusev, Bam Bam Bigelow, Jester. With one knee, Bam Bam's got Rusev up with a military press. And now Bam Bam with his eyes on the champion. Blocked by the champion. Eyes of the Batman trying to drag the champ over to the table. Whatever Batman had in mind, the champ said no. But this time, dumping him to the outside. Rusev now back to his feet. Reversed by the champion. There's a... Looking for it. Oh, not a Uranagi. I don't know what that was, but Bam Bam is momentarily taken out. And now Jester looks like he's leading Rusev into the ring. That's a, oh, Rusev counters. There's a backbreaker to the champion. There's a headbutt to the champion. Bam Bam almost back to his feet. Could we see Jester get put through a table? 
If we do, we will see a new ECW television champion. Jester now stopping whatever Rusev is doing with the suplex. Bam Bam stops whatever Jester was doing with the table. Oh, Jester sees Bam Bam setting up the table. There's another backstabber. This time to Bam Bam. We've seen Jester put people through tables with that before, but he doesn't aim for it this time. Jester sees Rusev get back in the ring and he immediately slides out. It's like he just gave Bam Bam Bigelow to Rusev. But Rusev wants to give chase to the champion. I don't know if that's wise. Jester let Rusev know he was ready and just took Rusev right out. Oh, no, he doesn't put Bam Bam through the table. It looked like he was about to do it. Oh, here we go. He's got Bam Bam up on his shoulders. F5 through the table and Bam Bam is eliminated. Jester getting fired up. There's the super kick. There's a spear of Rusev. And Jester now needs a table, and it could be all over for Rusev. Jester now setting up a table. Rusev still down. Rusev counters. Jester fighting back one on one. If Rusev could put Jester through the table, he's the new television champion. Wait, Jester's got Rusev up. No, he misses the table. Oh no, what's Jester looking for? He's putting Rusev up on the top rope. There's a hurricanrano. No, the table doesn't break. The legs give out. Guess you're now leaning the table up in the corner again. Cactus Jack, Bam Bam Bigelow both eliminated already. And there's the spear through the table and the champion retains. You see Cactus Jack, these tables hella sturdy. Cactus Jack and Jester both being tossed into the same table multiple times and it did not break. So much chaos in the match here. Getting ready for our main event, Shinsuke Nakamura to defend his ECW World Heavyweight Championship yet again. But as the story goes, when Jester has to defend his belt the same night Shinsuke Nakamura does, they both walk away successfully. And you're still hashtag.
ECW World Television Champion. The Jester. A crazy Fatal 4-Way Elimination Table Match. T table Elimination? It's all the same. This episode would take forever the day PUBG's test servers go live again. Like, I'm sitting here waiting. Itching. Can't wait. Excited. I've seen so much new stuff. It looks so good. Shinsuke Nakamura is going to defend against none other than Rob Van Dam himself. You're welcome. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Say he's earned a title opportunity, but I figured this would be a good matchup. And shit, what if RVD wins? I don't know why when you make his entrance custom, it changes his, the crowd doing his talk. Snake lurking. Hello, Hungry Snake. Got too distracted with all the stuff going on in the matches. You see your ECW World Heavyweight Champion. The longest reigning, most title defenses of any champion of any brand in the hashtag Triple Threat War. Just as dominant here tonight. Introducing the challenger, Rob Van Dam. And introducing the champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed, 
ECW World Heavyweight Champion, Shinsuke Nakamura. CW at Center. We got a 97 minute. Rob Van Dam started to wrestle a little bit, now the strikes have started. Up to the middle rope, looking for an elbow drop, misses. RVD quickly rolls out of the way. Now Rob Van Dam looking for a equalizer. Has to be a steel chair. Nope. Every single match they had to bring out a fucking table, except the authors of pain. I think. I think their tag team match there was no table. There might have been a table involved. I don't know. There's been a table involved in every match. That's what I get for putting a table in that Beautiful hurt from Rana, though. I mean, he was in control, but he just got that arm breaker right onto the table. And now the champion, Shinsuke Nakamura, in control. Nakamura methodically picking Rob Van Dam apart right now. And of course, as soon as I say it, there's the counter. And there's a roll up. One. Only a one count. Referee taking forever to. I mean, he was probably just as surprised as he did about the roll up. Super by Rob Van Dam. And he's got the table again. Setting it up in the corner. Ooh, a nice little modified monkey flip. And RVD looking, looking a little bit hype against the champion right now. Ten mounted punches in the corner by Rob Van Dam to the champion. Now looking to put the champ through a table, and he does with a drop kick. Rob Van Dam can easily win the ECW World Heavyweight title right here tonight. Shinsuke trying to fight back. Oh, there's a driver right into the table scraps. These tables obviously a little bit weaker than the ones used in the previous match. Definitely need the stronger tables with those big men in there. Since they're using the strikes against RVD. Ooh, back elbow by RVD. Over a pedigree? What? Oh? Okay, he's got him up. Oh, face first goes the champion. And RVD getting fired up, but maybe taking too much time in the corner to gloat. Shinsuke already back to his feet. Nakamura off the ropes into a drop kick. It's almost over. Good sir. This is the main event. 
I gotta be pub Jesus on the pub G test servers. ECW World Heavyweight title match between Nakamura and Rob Van Dam. Two nights removed of SummerSlam where they lost against the WCW. Oh, here we go. Split leg mood talk. We're going to see it. Connects. Hooks the leg on the champion. One, two. No, Shinsuke still alive. Five star frog splash to the champion. We could have a new ECW World Heavyweight Champion. One, two, no. Shinsuke Nakamura again gets the shoulder up just before three. RVD looking for maybe another five star frog splash. No, a moonsault this time. Connects with the moonsault. The champ is in trouble. How he's even still alive is beyond me. RVD now got Shinsuke in the corner. Looking to go high risk, top rope. Frankensteiner from the top rope by shit by uh fuck Rob Van Dam. And again RVD getting cocky, gloating in the corner. No, I'm not actually playing. Pinned by Rob Van Dam, two, only two. I played the last match though, because it was my creative character in the universe. And storyline stuff. It's a fantasy. Backdrop by Shinsuke looking maybe for the Kinshasa knee strike. There's the Kinshasa knee. That's got to be it. Nobody's kicked out. One, two. No, RVD kicks out. Shinsuke immediately back on the attack. What the fuck is RVD made of tonight? by Shinsuke reverse capture suplex Shinsuke is down RVD is crawling though did RVD counter in the middle of that what the fuck happened how is Shinsuke down longer than, than RVD he's the one that did the move the champ could be exhausted It's kind of a 10 second delay. And again, Shinsuke gets the shoulder of the 4 3. RVD on the outside, waiting for the champ to get to his feet. Springboard frog splash. Shinsuke though back to his feet with a running STO. Pinned by the champion. One, two, no. RVD still somehow. Another pin by the champ. Oh, RVD busted open. Two. What did either man have to do to put the other one away? He's fine. Moving right hand. Looking for the reverse exploder suplex. Connects. This time Shinsuke doesn't stay laying down asleep. No, dragon screw by RVD. Playing possum. Now the rolling thunder. Standing moonsault. Where is RVD getting this? 
It's like you put the ECW World Heavyweight title on the line for RVD and he becomes a whole nother person. Kicking out of the Kinshasa knee strike. I'm saying I don't know how a commentator, co commentator will work without you being here. He's twitching his delay. So by the time I see and say, it'll already be like 10 seconds. I saw that kick in the back. I would have seen this DDT by the time you saw that kick in the back. Another rolling thunder. This time RVD going for the pin. This could be it. One, two, three. Holy shit. Wow. Rob Van Dam just dethroned. Whoa, Stephanie McMahon's back. Stephanie McMahon is back. I don't know why. What the fuck is going on? Stephanie McMahon jumped the jester once. The same results happened. This time she tried to jump Rob Van Dam. She's not even in my universe. What the fuck? What the fuck? We have a new ECW World Heavyweight Champion in Rob Van Dam. Woo, this has been a fucking crazy episode. The like live tweet before I kick things off. The only two regular matches we had, Baron Corbin versus The Godfather. One-on-one -on -one for the right to face WCW at Bash at the Beach. Baron Corbin with advance. Alistair Black continuing his ECW original streak, this time taking out Psycho Sid in an amazing one-on-one -on -one match. Like, fuck. And then the new ECW World Tag Team Champions beaten, but with the distraction of Eric Young and Alexander Wolfe definitely had to pay a lot of credit. Then the Jester defended his ECW World Television Championship yet again. This time against Cactus Jack, Bam Bam Bigelow, and Rusev in a table elimination fatal four-way. Where he would walk away still the champion. But Shinsuke Nakamura finally dethroned this time by Rob Van Dam himself. The new ECW World Heavyweight Champion. Join me tomorrow night, same time, 10 p.m. Central, live here on this channel, of course. Follow me on Twitter. I will tweet before I go live. And you will see in a second when it's done loading. Get, wait for it. Hold on. Right here. Boop. Raw. There it is. And you will see what goes down on Raw. Because Raw, after next Raw, which will be next Wednesday, they have Backlash, where shit should be going down. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, follow, watch it live. Goodbye. Vote for your boy, Snow. <laughs>